Yep. Tell us a little bit about the course. Yeah, I'm actually going to do a little preview on my screen. So if you're on YouTube watching the podcast, you can follow along with the Ride with GPS <clears throat> link that I'm going to show you. If you are listening to this, then you can just listen to the audio cues. Of course, you won't have the visual in front of you, but you could take a look later. So I'm looking at the Ride with GPS route and on the left side of the screen, you'll see a all the various cues, um, including which side of the road to stay on, lots and lots of details over here that we have added in there for you to take a look at just so that you, if you're very conscientious about running the course and in the right place, you have all that information. We will start up here in Pack Square Park next to Pax Tavern. Up here is where the packet pickup area is. The portageons are over here. And just so you know, there's the College Street parking deck that's really close right there. And then there's some other parking decks here too. So the runners, you will start here and you will head straight downhill. And like I said, all the queues are over here on this side. And you can look at the elevation as well. We're starting up here and you can see how we go down a little bit and then we go up a little bit and then down and up a couple times, but it is a net elevation loss of 416 feet, which means it's fast. So you're not going up. If you'll notice at the end, you're not going back up this hill which is a wonderful blessing for all you runners. <laughs> and so, yeah, so you will run, you'll cross Biltmore Avenue and you'll run across Hilliard. And you'll stick to the right side of the road by that bike lane. There's a little spectator. That's what the camera is on the map. Spectator area at Aston Park. It's a great place for your friends and family if they want to watch you, that they can see you there. At mile one, you're going to head down Klingman and you're going to stay on the left side of the road, which would be against the, the traffic. And you will stay on that side and you will head around this roundabout, go down the Haywood Road Bridge. And then this is about 1.7. You're going to come down onto the Greenway here and head towards New Belgium. New Belgium's here. Mile two is by New Belgium. You take a right and go across Craven Street Bridge, and then you go straight across this intersection so that you're on the opposite side of the Riverside Drive. You're on the right side of the road with traffic on Riverside Drive, and you go the whole way down past Hill Street by Southern States. The turnaround is there. And then you will be on this right side of the road with flowing with traffic. We've just passed mile three. You will come onto the greenway here, just past White Duck. You go under the overpass and then you'll be by the water station. Here, there's also portageons at that water station if you need those as well. Another spectator cheer area is the park that's here by the water station. There's an, there's this park as well. There's several parks all along um, this greenway that are great spots for spectators that you can just pull in and have them pop out and watch you, which is really nice. But I would suggest if you have them do that, that they get there before the race starts because the roads are really crowded with runners and we really don't want a lot of traffic moving when the runners are coming through. So if they want to be down here in the River Arts District, I would suggest they get there at seven to do that. So they will continue, runners will continue along the Greenway. You pass by the Rad Gear sign. There'll be a DJ there with music. Keep running down the Greenway, mile four, Keep on running down and I'm just going to pull up the 10K map here so you guys can see that. And the 10K does not go the whole way down to the end of Lyman Street. 
there is a little bit of a step down here and this is because it is a sanctioned event certified event this is the exact distance that you need to go in the 10k and there will be somebody there this is the course split so just pay attention to that the half marathoners they will continue straight in this section the 10k flips around onto the bike lane and that's their mile five and so the 10k will go back up and then down across the road through the sidewalk old lineman to finish that's the difference in the 10k is the course split right there so the half marathoners will keep on going you're going to run across the amboy road bridge stay to the right side don't run on the lip of that bridge just stay on the bridge You'll take a right onto Riverview Drive. There is a little rabbit trail that has been, I think, from people that have just been walking across the bridge. There's a little rabbit trail right here. Don't take that rabbit trail. Just stay on the main road, run through the center of that parking lot, and then around the little traffic island. There's real restrooms there. There's also going to be Portage Johns as well. So you'll have two options here at the French Broad River Park. The water station is here. It's another great area for spectators to come in as long as they're staying put through the race and not trying to follow you to the finish. This is another spot for them. You can come in and park. The dog park's over here. So runners will just run around the dog park, stay next to the French Broad River here, go under the Amboy Road bridge, and keep on running to where mile six is over here. It's across from Wrong Way River Lodge and Cabins, the new cabins that some of you are probably staying in for race weekend. It's a great area to spectate because you can see the race happening across the street and you can have your beer or coffee. So that's a great location. And even if you're not staying there, you can go up there and hang out. It's cool. It's like being in a tree house. Then you'll just keep on running. This is another little park that spectators could park in if they want to. It's a small parking lot, but you could still do that. They'll run on the sidewalk on Amboy Road, come down into the carrier park area run along the greenway here Uh, there are restrooms in this middle section right here of the parking lot so that both sides of this these water stations can be serviced so there are porta johns here in the parking lot water station here you cross over short michigan there's restroom real restrooms here And then this is the velodrome. So we'll run past the velodrome, cross the road. Another area here for spectators to cheer, hang out at Carrier Park. Keep running, stay along the sidewalk for Amboy Road. At this point, you're getting into the RV park area. You can run in the center of that road. There's really not a lot of traffic coming in and out of the RV park. And there is a pedestrian lane as well. And you can follow that pedestrian lane the whole way in the middle of the RV park, get onto the greenway here, run the whole way down. We're at mile eight. Once we get to the end to the Hominy Creek River Park, there's a water station, Portage On's here as well. You run through the parking lot up Hominy Creek Road, close to the vehicle maintenance area and then you the half marathoners will turn around you turn around here we'll have timing to make sure that you actually get to that point (laughs) some timing mats and then you will come down and you're going to repeat what you just did so you're going to pass that water station grab some more water if you'd like and then head back up i would stay always on the right side of the greenway because there is out and back traffic so you don't want to be taking up the whole greenway cheer your runner friends on and stay on that right side so that everybody has room to move and then once you get over here this is the rv park and once you're getting close to the velodrome you're going to take a right and head 
down a little trail section that's really cool in the woods. Go behind the velodrome. This is the lawn bowling area. If you guys are familiar with that, you've just passed mile 10. You're going to take a right and head across Short Michigan. Another water station is there. Porta Johns are right behind it. Keep on running against the French Broad River area. It's very wooded. It's nice through this section. And then you will head up here. You're going to take a right back onto Amboy Road. Um, repeat all of this section here. You're at mile 11 before you get to the Amboy Road Bridge. And you're just repeating what you did before. Go back by the dog park, water station again restrooms and Porta Johns come up on the road. Amboy Road Bridge, you're going to want to stay on that left side, the same side that you came across. The police will have one lane of traffic for that bridge. And then you will pop back onto this greenway. And once the bike lane starts, it starts about this area. You're going to be on the right side on the bike lane, not on the greenway, but on the bike lane. And you will take that bike lane and you will run down the bike lane the whole way to this roundabout here. And you will cross the street and you'll be on the sidewalk here at mile 13. And Old Lyman Street is where the finish is located. So yeah, so that is that. We have a map and cue sheet that is posted as well on the website that you can find if you want to print this off. 